Hi, Pete Meyer with Automate Training here. Whether you're diagnosing a drivability related issue, performing a routine service, or an all out overhaul, every technician needs to understand the fundamentals of a manual transaxle. One disadvantage is that the weight distribution is quite uneven, putting most of it at the very front of the vehicle. This can have an effect on the vehicle's handling characteristics, and as a result, manufacturers have worked to overcome these issues with altered steering and suspension geometry. Let's look at the operation of a five-speed transaxle and see how it differs from a conventional rear-wheel drive transmission. A transaxle has three shafts working in parallel to each other within the transmission compartment. They are called the primary or input shaft, the secondary or output shaft, and the final drive and drive shafts. Power flow begins in the primary or input shaft, through the secondary or output shaft via a gear set, and finally into the final drive and drive shafts. The input shaft in the transaxle transmission starts from the clutch and flywheel assembly, similar to a conventional transmission. But this input shaft is very different compared to a rear wheel drive version. If you're not already a member, follow the link to access this and our entire training library today.